just the way it is Things will never be the same This is real black ass talk with Chris Alright, so I want to talk about negativity which is a connotation of negativity and nigga, obviously. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I just feel that, well, it's Black History Month, so that's why I'm talking about this. But other than that, I, you know, I just feel in the black community, we went from being the most unified race to the most disunified race. And as for negativity, I just feel like, you know, I'm black, but I'm not your definition of black. You know, yes, I'm black male, but I'm not responsible for what all the other black men do. No, we're not all thugs. No, we are not hyper-masculine. You know, we're just human beings. At least I'm a human being. You know, there's a difference between nigga and black people. Every race has their sub group that they don't want to claim. And usually that's the group that we get painted with with one brush as a whole. And as a black person, as a black man, I'm really tired of that. And as for, you know, negativity, now the reason why I talk about that is because oh, you can't hang around a lot of black people, a lot of niggas, because niggas are the ones who tear up the community. They're the ones who are running around here, passing around diseases, passing around um, different kids that they don't want to claim, you know, trying to be a rap superstar. You know, all of this is tomfoolery. And as a black, you know, as a, a community, I. You know, we, I don't even feel like it's a black community. Because a lot of black people, instead of congratulating another black person, they'd rather just tear them down. You know, why is that? Bring your community up. Don't expect, if you can't bring your community up, no one else will. Quit expecting people of other races to care about us when we don't care about us. You know, negativity... It strings back into going to school, you know, you're trying to get an education, trying to, you know, go to school in peace. And there's always a black kid, a little black ghetto girl in class acting up, you know, cussing, doing all types of stuff. Probably because they, they got it from their mama. Like the song, I get it from my mama. Yeah, and that's probably where you got it from. You know, it's real tiring, you know. Because as the inner city schools, being going to an inner city school, you already know that you are you get the leftover teachers. Now, some teachers that teach in an inner city school, they're good. But most of them is like, how the hell did you even become a teacher? I could do a three-part video talking about all the teachers that do not deserve to be teaching. But going to inner city school, no one cares. And you got these little bastards who terrorize the neighborhood. You know, terrorizing other black kids, kids as long as kids of other races. Most predominantly Mexican. You know, because that's the area that I'm in. Uh, terrorizing the community. But when a cop shoots a black person... You know, you get up in arms. You gotta be up in arms with all these, you know, niggas that's doing wrong to the community. Community. And most black people don't even have a problem with that. It's like, nigga, are you serious? You know, I joke around and stuff, but yeah, this is a very serious topic. Negativity. You know, disrespecting your own kind. Some about, you know, big nose, nappy hair, um, big lips. But anything a white man does, then it becomes cool. 
Like, have you ever noticed, like, in the 90s, or white women, in the 90s, like, it was a lot of weed jokes? But then as soon as the white person was doing it, oh, it became cool. Oh, yeah, I got this type of weed. Yeah, oh, you know, I paid this much for weed. Because before, it was a secret. You pretended like it was your own hair, even when it wasn't. Just like with big lips. There was a lot of big lip jokes, mainly coming from black people. As soon as white people started getting their lips injected, you didn't hear about, you know, big lips anymore. Black people are niggas, you know, straighten the fuck up. You know, there's so much I can go into. I don't want this video to be too long, but... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I just want to talk about negativity. In a general, broad aspect. Get it together. Stop shooting up your neighborhood. Stop shooting up your own kind. Especially over some shoes that you got to pay $200 for. That was manufactured. Alright, in China. That you got to get your lights cut off. Alright, anyway, some comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them at. Anything you want me to talk about, let me know. Speak your mind, free your mind, express yourself. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the Nest, with real black ass talk. Alright, peace.